understanding that there's a core conservative principle that uh, state and local government have the power to govern themselves without federal interference. If you were president, would you protect gay marriage and state medical marijuana laws and allow them to operate without federal interference? I, I believe that America is based on a certain set of core values, right? Uh, and those core values should be reflected in our laws and should be enforced in our laws. I don't believe that we can have 50 definitions of marriage in this country. I think that's an unworkable system. Why? That, that because, because we are a society that just, just to say that that we should have 50 definitions of what life is. I don't think that works either. I think that there are certain things that are essential elements of the society upon which society rests that we have to have a consensus on. And so that's why I believe on things essential as what is life and what life is protected under the Constitution should be a federal charge, not a state by state. You're and, and I'll use extreme examples, but you know, because you're you know, 19 years old and you're a female, you're allowed to live in this state, but because he's 30 years old and male, he's not. Well, obviously we're not getting there, that's an absurd example, but it is, well, if you're a certain amount of gestational age, or if you were born and you can be, there are some states that advocated for, uh, you know, for mercy killings, for example, euthanasia, and you can be euthanized if you're in one state, but you can't be in another state. Those are things that, that I think are counter to the Constitution, which says you know, there are a certain set of values upon which we base, we, we base our, our, our laws on. So I, I would make the argument that no, I would advocate for federal laws that deal with these issues and from the standpoint of a constitutional amendment on the issue of marriage. I would do the constitutional amendment on the issue of life why? Because, because I think they are necessary elements, basic elements of society upon which we have to have consensus. And to move on to the second part of that question, the marijuana laws state by state. Um, I guess I, I, would, I would take the opinion that the federal laws are, are laws that are in place right now that, that say that these are narcotics. Right? I don't know if, I don't know if, uh, whether, I, I assume they are. I don't know. Sorry, they're not. Okay, all right, I, I don't know. I don't know my medical marijuana laws very well, to be honest with you. Know, so, oh, I know, I, I should know everything, but I don't. <laughs> I apologize. I'm trying my best. Uh, but, you know, but there are, I think most, I, I feel that they're a hazardous thing for society. And so I, I would, I, this, I, well, I formed that opinion from my own life life experiences and, and having experienced that. I went to college too. Uh, so so I, I, I would make the argument that, uh, that states have the rights, but they don't have the right to do anything they want to do. States don't have the right to sterilize people. They did at one time, but we said, no, we're not going to do that anymore. States under the Constitution probably have the right to do it, just like they have the right to do medical marijuana laws, but legally. But I don't think they morally have the right to do things that are harmful to the people in their community, and therefore, I think the federal government should step in. Medicine, so I, I'm, I'm out of time. I'm encouraged that everybody still wants to ask.